I'm gonna walk you through the Voya Web Studio from front to back. So with the Voya Web Studio, you can build and manage your project along each and every step of the virtual production process. Storyboarding, shot lists, dailies, selects, renders, and even final download. First things first, head over to studio.voya.com and here's where we're gonna build our project. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to start a project is click Create From Scratch. Now name your project. After you have your project built and ready to go, you wanna click into it, and here's where you're gonna see the pipeline. Storyboard, shot list, dailies, render, export. It's also where you're gonna build the heart of your content, starting with your scenes and then breaking down your shots in each one of those scenes. This is also where you're gonna select your environment, whether that's pulling from the existing Voya library or you're bringing in a custom environment that you've built yourself from Blender. All right, so my first scene I'm gonna say is scene one. It's very original and it's risky, but I think you'll go with me on it. So after you've labeled your scene, you can jump in and break down your shots. So for shot one, you're gonna see an option to upload an image, add the description, and add a location. All right, so if you've already worked with the storyboarding tool, you can jump in here and add your cells. So I'm gonna pull something in that I found online from Studio Binder. So you can also add your description in here, and this is where you're gonna pick that location. So in my description, I'm gonna say, this is a man who looks like a Steven, and uh, I'm gonna say that he is kicking towards camera. So once you've added in your storyboard cell and you've added your description, you can add your location. So this is where you can pull from existing uh, environments from our Voya library, or if you're creating your own or bringing something in from Blender, you can have at it, load it in here, and that again is in that separate video. So for this, I'm gonna do a nice sun-drenched island bar. And I have a second shot that I'm gonna go and upload. And I'm gonna say this is my shot two for the day. So do the same thing. And after you have selected a location, it's gonna send you right back to that general area. So if it's all happening in the same environment, I can click, add that, it's saved, it's cached, ready to go. Okay, so I have my shot one, shot two in my scene one. Now I'm ready to go over to shot list and drag and drop in the arrangement that I wanna film in the day of. So it's kind of a helpful scheduling tool, but it's also just helpful for logistics, thinking about how do you wanna film things and what's the best order in which to shoot them. So I'm gonna say it makes more sense to do my shot two first, because then we're gonna to go to lunch and I'm gonna let someone clean up that class. What that approve button does is it syncs this to your iPhone. So you're able to build this, shift things around, have those collaborative conversations, figuring out what's the best way to approach each scene. And then once you hit approve, it's gonna sync all of that back into your iPhone. So when it syncs to your iPhone, you'll be able to step onto set, pull up that project and click into scene one, shot one, and you're ready to go. On to the next is our dailies tab. So because I haven't shot anything yet, your dailies tab is gonna tell you, hey, I don't have any dailies to look at. I don't have any selects. But when you shoot through that project on the iPhone, all of your dailies for that shot, for that scene, are gonna populate in an organized fashion. So you're gonna be able to review all of your takes and pin your selects. Let's shoot some content so you can see what that looks like. So after that sync to the cloud, on the day of shooting, just open up the Voya app and go to your projects folder. Here you can select your scenes, your shots, and to get started shooting, just go to that specific shot and hit the camera icon. Your location's gonna load up. Here we are in a beautiful island bar sitting around and all of those takes are gonna fall in one after the other and we're gonna see those in our dailies folder. And that's where we're gonna pick our selects for render. Okay, so after you've been on set, you've shot your content, you can jump back into the shot list page and you're gonna see a number next to your take. That's how many takes you've done for that shot. If you click that number, it's gonna take you onto the dailies screen. The dailies is a place where you can review your footage, pick your selects and decide what you wanna send on to render. Here in front of you, you're gonna see our two takes that we've shot. So if I jump into my first take, I can say, hey, I don't like this take with a thumbs down. I like this take, but I wanna revisit it with a thumbs up. Along the way, you can also set your in to out points as you're reviewing content. If I wanna watch through my take and decide, okay, I don't necessarily need the slate for the render. I don't necessarily need the heads. I can move in my endpoint. So now I'm starting at five seconds in. 
Same thing with the out. Sliding bar that lets you decide where you want to spend that computing power. Okay, so now I have super liked this. I've set my in to out points. I'm ready to move on to the render screen. All right, so we want to jump out of here, move on to our renders page. So after you've picked your selects and set your in to out points and dailies, the render page is where you're going to round trip all of your projects to render in Blender. So just like the dailies page, here you're going to be able to see your scene shot breakdown, your capture, and make sure that your in to out points are set correctly. So once you've sent that file on to render in Blender, that's going to make a round trip just like your storyboard and your shot listed. So you're going to be able to jump out into Blender, do your high level passes, get your layers, and they're going to sync back into here. After you have a render that you're happy with, you can move on to the download screen. So once you get all of your hard earned footage back from the render, it's time for final review and download. On the download page, here's where you can review each one of your renders, selects the one you want to pull down, and you can get a full res comp or get a fully broken out foreground, background, camera tracking, all the layers you could want from a cloud link. Plug it into your editor of choice, DaVinci, Premiere. It's all up to you. It's as simple as that. The Voya Web Studio is designed to drop in with existing workflows and uses our custom AI to tackle the tasks that take you out of the flow. Find your flow with the Voya Web Studio.